the Jehovah's Witnesses just came by and we had a discussion about peace and security. Here's what's interesting. They told me that there's been a new understanding on the whole peace and security thing. He really like wouldn't tell me the whole thing because he was trying to get me to come to the talk that's on April 12th or uh, the week of April 12th. He'll probably come back and remind me. But there's been a new understanding, a new thought or a new way of looking at it. What is the real peace and security? Kind of like what does the Bible really teach? This is what is the real peace and security. That kind of interested me. I'm like, well, doesn't the Bible say when it is that they are saying peace and security, that sudden destruction will be instantly upon them as the pangs of a pregnant lady or however the hell it goes, something like that. But that's how I remember it. And he was like, well, well yeah, but their hope is going to be in man. He is basically saying that there's going to be this other hope that's in the organization. What, what it leads me to think that he's talking about is that there's going to be these two different hopes. The organization uh, is going to be this hope that people put their faith into, and that's the real hope. And then there's this hope over here that's going to be something big. It's going to be huge, according to this elder. It's going to be big. Something huge is going to happen, and there's going to be this expectation of hope, like people are going to be hoping for something to happen and it's not going to happen because they didn't put their faith in, I guess, the organization. Now, I could be misquoting this guy, I don't know, but he didn't really tell me the whole story. I was kind of confused because I had always thought that this peace and security thing was a negative thing, but he had almost made it seem positive at first. And so I was like, well, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. The Bible says that that's a bad thing, that sudden destruction comes after that. So there's a false expectation that we have to be looking for. And he's like, yes, but there's two different like peace and securities here. I kind of want to find out more about it, but there's no documentation or anything yet. He gave me these. Let's see. Nature. Uh, nature had it first. And I guess they're talking about this camera lens here associating it with the eye. And uh, here's one that's really interesting. The Bible, is it really God's inspired word? I haven't really looked through this yet. The thing about uh, 1 Thessalonians isn't, isn't in here. Apparently something new that has recently come out. Uh, because he did say new thought. He said that it was a new thought on peace and security. I'm not entirely sure what exactly that means, but uh, I'm going to try and get to the bottom of it. If you know anything, better tell us. Until then, I'll holler at you guys later.